John Tyler is next to him. Ellaby looking to throw right side. How did he get it through? Did he catch it? He did. That's Dwayne Eskridge. The stones on Tom Hart to try it again. <laughs> but no, this one will go up into the air. It is caught dangerous territory inside the one and back into the end zone. Uh, but the Broncos get a huge return out of this. And this time, the fake to Tyler, the throw, and room to run. And he could be off to the races. Dwayne Eskridge takes it to the house. Where did that speed come from? Out of Indiana was a state track champ, 100 meters. And he outruns three defensive backs from Akron to get to the sideline. And how does he stay in bounds? What balance Jefferson and Kincaid yeah. both offset each side of Ellaby? And they'll throw instead. And another big play for the offense. And this is Eskridge now reversing field and brought down finally at the 19-yard line. He seems like he's playing at a different speed than everybody else. Well, look how fast he is. Everyone else just trying to, like, break down. and Eat Really good corners, you could argue. No one's got three better in the MAC. Blitz coming. Instead, they'll throw on the RPO. Here is Eskridge. He can go. He'll take it from Kalamazoo to Timbuktu. You get into a track meet with this guy, he's like the gingerbread man. He's got. Yeah, and he's so precise. You see him, he comes off the ball, and he's so fast, you got to back off of him. And then he sticks his foot in the ground. Playing. And the mindset that Jason Candle wanted to have as a defensive football team and just felt like he had to make a change. Eskridge on the slant, 11 yards. You know, not very tall, explosive, good ball skills. Not afraid to come over the middle here. Hadn't won a major in, what, 10 years? Fourth and five, Ellaby. That's brought in by Eskridge for a first. See, now you're in the, you got five across the board here, three up top. They're not going to let you throw the deep or the intermediate throw. They'll try it. Eskridge Whoa. holds on. Ellaby threads the needle, and Eskridge comes down with it. Getting the ball into a tight window. Safety. Yeah, and Eskridge is the alpha receiver that benefits in this case from a run pass option on a ski. More in the slot top of your screen. Eskridge lined up at the bottom. Tyler in the backfield. Downfield, he's got Eskridge. Inside the 10 yard. Points on the board by the Broncos here. Create a lot of separation. Obviously right before the break at halftime. Eskridge. He's got 4-3 speed, stays in bounds. Rotated to a high safety man-to-man -man outside. And so man-to-man -man outside for a quarterback looking for what the best one-on-one -on -one is. It's that for Central Michigan would be great to show up right here, a defensive takeaway. Seven in the box. Guess what? LLB's going to throw it. The slant is there, and there goes Eskridge. Off to the races for one of the fastest players in the back. He will not be caught. A touchdown on the board just like that. Eskridge is able to take it to the house. Outside leverage because you have a safety that's supposed to be helping there somewhere. But that run fake or the R. Then, you know, remember Coach Lester said this was a red letter game for them. This was a one they must have because of what happened last year. And, and right now, Northern Illinois is feeling like there, there, there goes that man. Eskridge. Oh, man, this is an explosion. He's going to go all the way for Western Michigan. It was only a matter of time before he popped a big one, and he just did it for Western Michigan. And, 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 and this is part of the reason that Northern Illinois didn't want to kick it deep. I mean, this man is a stick of dynamite, Mr. Electricity. Borderline, un, I mean, basically untouched. This man here can flip the field and, and got them right back. It's been a bushel of big plays on both sides. The RPO game in effect. Eskridge off to the races. There goes number one. And nobody will catch Dwayne Eskridge. Three games this season, all three over 100 yards. That's his sixth receiving touchdown. With two tight ends, and if that defender coming to the right of the screen steps and leaves Eskridge 
along. On the field on you the get him on a hitch. He squares West up Michigan. on the defense the and he runs Michigan. away because he's the fastest guy on the planet right here. So that's on just four catches. He's caught three touchdowns, and believe it or not, that's not even a career high for number one in white tonight. Caleb Ellaby will play fake out first down and throw complete near side. He's got Eskridge. Give him credit, but this offensive line is really, I mean, they're getting beat up front. Time to throw. Now a deep ball straight down the middle and caught on the run. It's Eskridge. He's going to stay up and get out of bounds. What a throw. What a catch. Big hit for Western Michigan. Well, that time the offensive line gave him plenty of time. And then they ran a decoy route across the middle. Your, your defensive back, like Dylan, Dylan Thomas right there, number 15, he didn't try to catch the ball at the highest point. He had his arms below his waist. And, and, and D. Eskridge went up. And you'll see it. And you got three people right there. So he actually made a, you know, a. Ellaby with time. He'll throw underneath. It's complete. It's a Western first down. And you know who? Dwayne Eskridge. See, he, he, see, he, he runs just a shallow cross from a, slot, from a slot position. And he didn't really even play slot, but they moved him around. Guys went down. Now they like it. Wide open, caught in space. That's Eskridge. Well, they have a lot of faith in uh, Gandy because, and that is just a tough route to stop. It, what they call. So the Broncos get 15 yards of field position. Play fake throw, complete far side. Eskridge. When teams play soft zone, that's the throw that's always there. Oh, they're going to run the reverse. Here's Eskridge around the end. He's got blockers and a lot of field in front of him. He stays up inside the 10. And that's how you got to know when he lines up in the slot, something that's different is coming. He's normally an outside defense. receiver. Good move right there in the open. Here, they're under center again. I mean, it's it's been made very clear what they're going to do. First play of the fourth quarter. Ellaby looking for a deep throw and wide open. Caught is Eskridge. Nobody covers him. He's pushed out. And they say he's out at the four-yard line. All the time in the National Football League, you send that guy deep and way across the field. You can't double him that way. Inside the 10 at the 7. Throwing and a hard catch made. Touchdown, Eskridge in the end zone for Western Michigan. I mean, if I'm Coach Neville, I am furious. There's no reason for you to back up when the ball is on the 5 inside the 10-yard they have to make a change with this run game. Run pass option looking up top for Eskridge. Dwayne Eskridge into the end zone. He comes up for two steps run support. Then he's in no man's land. It's a sprint to the outside. And you give me the fastest man on the field with the safety peeking in the backfield. Too late. Size him up. Touchdown. That's the way you draw. LB to the air. It's Eskridge. Bryce Cosby misses Woo. the tackle. Oh. Eskridge off to the races. Antonio Phillips has the oh. inside and he has the ankle. But Dwayne Eskridge turns into a 60 yard gain. I mean, the shake at the line of scrimmage to get by Bryce Cosby, then it becomes a foot race with Antonio Phillips. Second and nine for Ellaby. Good look to the sideline.